Hello and welcome to another edition of JJ's Food Review. So today I've got something a little bit different. I got a, well I always call these TV dinners, but I guess you know, frozen meal, whatever you call it. It's the frozen food uh, you'd find at your grocery store. I got this at Albertsons. This is a Marie Callender's creamy parmesan chicken pot pie with tender white meat chicken, just like home. Golden flaky crust made from scratch. So, uh, sounds pretty good. No preservatives, no artificial flavors. Okay, done for that. So 16 ounces net weight. That's a pretty decent size for TV dinner. Most of them seem like they're usually around uh, 10 ounces net weight. Uh, so it has a, you, you just like open this up and microwave it for 10 minutes. And so the, uh, Nutrition data and try to turn it around without spilling everything. So it says servings per container too, so just double everything there. That's what you get if you eat the whole thing. Uh, kind of a lot of sodium, uh, like about 1500 milligrams of sodium. That's uh, probably more than you'd usually want in a, one meal, but anyway. Fat, um, that's there's some you know if you're watching your fat intake that's probably a lot if you you know if you work out a lot like I do it probably isn't a concern anyway those are the nutrition facts not the not exactly health food but the big question for me is how does it taste so let's dig in it looks good is there steam coming off the top I don't know if you can tell but that's always a good sign. Uh, so there's chicken and broccoli and carrots. And the bread of the pie looks pretty tasty. Uh, hopefully that's not going to burn my mouth, but let's see. It is a bit hot. We'll just start out with a carrot. How about that? So yeah, you know, typical frozen, cooked frozen carrot, it's nice. And the bread, let's see the bread. Nice and flaky, kind of oily. Um, the sauce I like a lot, you taste kind of a Parmesan cheese taste. Kind of reminds me a bit of like, Chicken Alfredo, but not quite as creamy, not quite as thick, but very good. There's some broccoli in there. Um, yeah. I'm having trouble getting the broccoli. Well, there's a little piece. Yeah, it's fine. The vegetables are, you know, they didn't mess them up at all. Um, they're just kind of like your typical frozen vegetables. You know, that you'd cook from the bag, but let's try the chicken. A little chewier than I'd like. Well, there's no gristle or anything or, you know, like pieces of fat stuck to it. So plus for that. But I've had more tender chicken. It's not the most tender chicken. I don't know if you know it says cook nine to 10 minutes. I cook it 10 minutes. Maybe that's partly from cooking it longer than it needed to be. So I don't want to put all the blame on Marie Callender, but um, the chicken, not the best chicken, but nothing wrong with it. Just a little chewy, kind of like you might get in chicken soup from a can. And yeah, it's okay, no complaints. My favorite thing about this is the sauce. Kind of a cream of broccoli mixed with a chicken alfredo parmesan sort of taste. It's good. Sauce is the star of the show here from my, in my perspective. The crust, the bread, you know, whatever you call it, this it tastes all right. It's nice and flaky. 
um, typical chicken pot pie type crust. Um, nothing spectacular, but it's all right. It's good. Vegetables, they didn't, I mean, you can't really mess up vegetables unless, I don't know, I suppose you could, but these aren't messed up. They're good. Typical uh, frozen, like vegetables you get in the frozen section. Um, everything here is solid, and I got this on sale. I think it was like, oh, it was like around $2 or at the most $3. It was on sale, so for, you know, for as much food as it is, and it's, you know, decent meal, uh, the exception is not exactly, you know, maybe the healthiest option. It's, you know, once in a while, it's pretty good. See, so I'm probably going to finish this. Um, you know, I'm not so much of a frozen food person. Usually you like fresher stuff, but this is all right. Yeah, I just had another bite of that crust. It's pretty good. So I'm going to give us a, a pretty... Decent rating. I'm not going to give it way up on the scale. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. And uh, for frozen food, for me, that's a pretty good rating. So, uh, yeah. I recommend you try this if you see it. Uh, try it and see if you like it. You might. So, yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, and I'm going to finish this off. Thank you for watching. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, please hit that like button, and if you have any comments, I'd be happy to hear from you. And uh, have a great day.